y'all, Nicole here, your Gulf Coast gal. I am a little bit north of the Gulf Coast in Jackson, Mississippi. Cruise up here for a conference and had to stop by to get some delicious food. Um, I wanted to go somewhere semi-local, so we are currently at the Bulldog. I'm really excited. They have over 62 beers, lots of fun appetizers, burgers, um, you name it. So we're gonna go check it out. Come along, it's gonna be a great time. They have tons of parking. It's super conveniently located to the interstate. And check out this awesome fountain. I am digging that. I want something like that in my yard. And then a fire pit. They do open it at four o'clock. And we are here at about that. So we are ready to rock. I love this. Brewery of the month, Wicked Weed. And they have different specials. Today is if you purchase any draft beer, you get to take your glass home, so that's pretty cool. And then happy hour is happening right now. House wine, 50 cents off draft beer. All kinds of great stuff. And I'll be sure to link all of their social media accounts as well. Um, off the bat, what a super neat space. I feel like it's kind of like a speakeasy type vibe happening here. They have some arcade games. And then here is a look at their bar area. Let's go take a look and see what kind of stuff they have on draft. Let's see if we can check out any of our local favorites. That siren looks really good. Amazing. Almost steampunk vibes. I am digging it for sure. So first things first, of course, in a bar is the drink menu. So they have quite an extensive drink menu. Um, of course, the brewery of the month is the Wicked Weed. We saw that out front. They also have a flight menu, which is one of my favorite things because you get to try a little bit of everything. So there's those. They also have some specialty cocktails and some wines. And then here is a listing of all of their beers on tap. They do have the Chandelier Island Guava Jelly, which is one of my favorites. Chandelier is brewed right in downtown Gulfport. We'll have to go check them out so you can see all of that amazingness. And they also have a variety of bottles and cans. Ooh, that's interesting. Two Chicks Vodka Elderflower Fizz. Super cool. Now on to what we're here for, the food. I'm so excited. We took a peek online, so I kind of have an idea what I want, but you never know. Beer battered onion rings. Hummus. Crawfish banditos. That looks so fun. And they have salads. And amazing entrees, mahi-mahi, tuna steak. Y'all know I like some red beans and rice. It's been a while. I'll be sure to tag that video below. I think it was the reef was the last time we had some RBR, as the Gulf Coast guy calls it. Gourmet burgers. I think that's what I'm gonna go for, beer and burgers. It sounds like it's such a classic. What burger would you get? Goodness. Well, I am seriously digging the aesthetic of this place. It is so fun. It's a bar, but it feels, I don't know. There's lots of history is what it feels like. I wonder if there's a story to this building or if they just built it to hold the restaurant. I'll have to check that out. All right, so we got a beer because you can't come to a bar and not get a beer. This is the pine glass and it's got a cute little by Felicia on the back. This one is, they were out of my first two choices. This is the Destel Wild Sour Series Key Lime Pie Goose. So I'm excited about it. And on since it is Wednesday, I get to take the glass home with me since I bought a draft beer. 
I'm gonna pass this around the table and let you know what we think. Okay, so I'm not usually a beer person, but I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, who doesn't like key lime pie, right? I'm uh, curious to see if they've gotten all the flavors in it. And I'm getting like the hazy light from behind me. Uh, so pardon that, but let's see. You definitely get the sour. Oh, there's like a weird graham cracker kind of taste at the end. But it does have that like tartness like a key lime pie does. So I can kind of see where they got that name from. Huh, pretty interesting. I love how they experiment with different flavors and come up with, you know, unique combinations. It's gonna be good with a burger, I can't wait. All right, so I got the bacon barbecue cheddar burger and they have these super thin fries which are my jam and there's some seasoning on them so i'm really excited to get that but look at all that barbecue sauce you don't need ketchup or mayonnaise or anything and the aroma i wish y'all had smell of vision right now because it's some serious stuff and we had to of course get another burger with our beer situation we have another beer coming we're really excited to try it but this is their basic um it's called the bulldog and um uh the gulf coast mom got blue cheese gross not a blue cheese fan but that's okay we'll still love her anyway and then seasoned waffle fries and all of their burgers come um, medium well automatically or you can ask for them at a different temperature but i'm gonna dig into this and get super messy <laughs> too bad i didn't dress up today i did so we're gonna see how this situation works but fully loaded dressed and toasted no onions for me oh the tomato's nice and the lettuce let's let's do this all right y'all um, let me show you the cross section of this burger we're gonna bite into it get first reaction there's some um shade behind me so i mean sun behind me look at that look how delicious you can see the bacon and the cheese the lettuce tomatoes and that temperature is pretty great. Um, that barbecue sauce is delicious. I don't even know what kind it is, but let's see. So good. Perfectly cooked burger. I love the bacon. It's like crispy. I don't like a chewy bacon on my burger. It's like I'm having a barbecue sandwich, but of course it's a burger. Perfect amount of sauce, and I love these fries and whatever seasonings on them. I'm in heaven. I'm gonna chow down. Eat the rest of this. There will be no leftovers. I'll promise you that. And then we'll see where the evening takes us wraps up our trip to the Bulldog. It was really fun. I loved the burgers. I think we all enjoyed the burgers. Top notch, right ladies? Thumbs up all around. And the beer selection, even though they have 62 on top, a tap was kind of limited. So I think that speaks to how popular they are. Um, I hope at least. But um, on Wednesdays, we were able to buy a pint and then keep the fun logoed glass. So we've got a pint of beer uh, to enjoy and a souvenir. That rhymes. I'm kind of loving that. But um, $6 for a pint, and we got to try that key lime beer, which was very good. Like I said, that was kind of my first impression. You guys got to see it in the moment, and I loved the sour tartness. You can tell, you know, that lime flavor, and at the end, it was really weird to have the graham cracker flavor come up. I don't know if that was all in my brain, so you'll definitely have to try it, and I'll leave a link or um, the title of the beer in the description down below. That's it for me, Gulf Coast Gal. Be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date for more activities, attractions, and fun road trip stops around Mississippi you can only find here at Gulf Coast Gal.